Hey, it's Easter and here we are, 2022. Glad everybody could come here. I'm so happy that you guys are here. Todd was gracious enough to bring some lamb for us. And now we're gonna try Todd's lamb. We're gonna take a little bit off the side. Oh my God. Oh, Making Cajun mac and cheese. Oh man. Can I try some? Mmm. 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 Oh, good. Oh, Rob's gonna love that stuff, huh? Oh, yeah. What do we got here? Whoa. Hi, right, guys. Welcome back Happy to the channel. As you probably guessed, we're making two beautiful Australian racks of lamb here. Premium quality stuff here. Triple vacuum packed from uh, <laughs> Australia. It's Kirkland brand, Costco, but you know what? It's really, really nice looking lamb. This stuff looks so good. And we're making it for a special occasion today. We're going over to Rob's house for Easter Sunday. Uh, he's gonna make some, I think, gumbo or something. Cajun and gumbo. Cajun yeah. gumbo. And, and we're, uh, of course, taking this opportunity to grill up some lamb chops. And we're gonna use the Weber today. And we're gonna use ridge charcoal and some applewood. Um, I really like the more citrusy apple flavor that it does with the lamb. I think it's uh, the right kind of little wood chunks to add to the, uh, the flavor there. Um, and Sassy here, she's gonna season it up. And we're gonna do something really simple but tangy, bring out that flavor in the lamb. We don't really wanna cover up that flavor of the lamb. It's a really tasty really delicate flavor and, and we love it. Got there. Olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. Okay. We're just gonna um, put some of this, use this as a binder, mm -hmm. and we're gonna rub it all over the lamb. Okay, we kind are, of a smear or binder. Uh -huh. We're of. not, yeah, cause we're just gonna uh, do, um, just do the little uh, bones, tips of the bones. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna do uh, salt and pepper because I'm going to make a um, herbal blend of parsley, uh, chopped parsley, lemon, garlic, and um, olive oil, and then we're gonna drizzle that over the top when these are done. So. Nice. And uh, they're gonna be tasty in fact. Oh yeah. Uh, let's uh, take a quick uh, cut here, and uh, Rob, tell us what you think of those. This lamb is incredible. Right. I have not had lamb this good in nice. so long. Oh, look at that. Right. And, and of course, no mint whatsoever. Doesn't need it. Oh my God. What do you think? That's can, incredible. Can you I taste that apple? lamb I've ever had in my life, Todd. All right. Best lamb in his life. There right. it is. Can't wait. Incredible. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Holy shit, Todd. <laughs> Rob, I'm delighted that you love my lamb. Hell yeah, he did. Okay, I like them too. Okay, so let's... Uh, Okay, we're going to start with a little bit of kosher salt. A little kosher salt. So, as you can see, we're not going to take that membrane off, you know, with lamb. You don't, we don't really need to. It's going to help hold them together. Yes, or otherwise it'll be falling apart because lamb is pretty tender. Yeah. Okay, so what you got there? What did you just do? Um, pepper? Kosher salt and pepper. Of course, ground black pepper. Yes. And you can see we're gonna leave this uh, fat cap on here, guys. Oh, that's oh, gonna yeah. help protect the meat on the uh, on the Weber. And uh, I'm gonna kind of slow cook it, but you know, not too slow. But toward the end, you know, I'm gonna actually give it a little sear over the top of that charcoal. Done. Do, 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 do. All right, let's go get the Weber going. All right, guys. Uh, I've got about half a chimney in here. It's uh, ready to go. See how it's chalky up top. I put the other half. On this side of the slow and sear stainless steel charcoal basket. Now you can use any kind of basket or just push the charcoal up yourself. I got a chunk of wood right here. The apple, it's gonna separate the two, create some smoke. And I don't want all the charcoal to burn all at once. Now I'm using the water insert here. You know what? The only reason I'm using it is because I haven't used it in a while and I might as well. So here we go. Okay, there we go, guys. So as you can see, that wood is gonna start flaming up a little bit. I'm gonna put another piece of apple right about there. You know, I gotta leave room for that grate, and that's okay. 
Now, if it gets this far, I'm going to put another chunk right here. So be it. And I'm going to take a little piece of apple and I'm just going to shove it right over here. Now, notice these have this trap door here. Guys, it's really handy to have. You know, if it's a little high, just jam it down. It's not going to hurt anything. That should do really nicely. Now, guys, uh, for you guys that haven't seen my Weber before, you know, I have two of them, 22 inches. On this one, I actually put a Tell True thermometer mounted on here on the side where the smoke exits. Now, you always keep the vent on top of your meat so I'm gonna end up putting it like this and I'm gonna crack it about halfway you know I'm looking for around 300 I'm gonna really try to keep that temperature as low as I can for about an hour then I'm gonna crank, crank it up max try to get a little bit more sear to it but uh, for now I'm gonna let this uh, apple flame up get burning a little bit okay then, guys we're gonna take a quick break while uh, we're grilling that delicious lamb and uh, we're going to go ahead and pick a winner for that uh, Wingnut Wednesday giveaway. All this great Grillaholic stuff. Um, stuff. Stuffed burger press, the heavy duty smoke box, the meat claws, and of course this beautiful grilling basket. All is going to be to the lucky winner here. A couple notes on some runner ups here. We got Dune Buggy Barbecue. Um, great fan, great subscriber. Cool little channel. Go subscribe. Uh, go check them out. Um, now, Dune Buggy Barbecue mentioned that he got to see some brisket, and I totally agree on that, that new Yoder mod there. I'm going to definitely be doing some brisket here soon. So, uh, Dune Buggy Barbecue, thanks for that suggestion. Um, and Mike Singleton, another uh, number two runner up, he wants to see some sausage and some turkey on the Yoder uh, loaded Wichita modified there. So, uh, be looking for that video here coming up soon. Uh, definitely want to check that out myself. Uh, I really like turkey and I like some sausages. Um, and a, you love sausage too? I love sausage. Sausage is my favorite. Sassy loves sausage too. All right. <laughs> and the uh, third runner up, honorable mention, the Cooking Cop and Babe, another awesome channel. Uh, be sure to go check them out. They, they're really active in the barbecue community. They uh, make some really fun videos and, and stuff. And, uh, Make sure you go uh, check those guys out. And they had a particular question, what kind of editing software we use. Well, we use uh, Vegas Pro for uh, business. Uh, we use a, uh, the, the heavy hitter program, the one where there's an annual subscription to it. It's the business and professional one. I spent a little bit of money on it. I'm still learning how to use all the ins and outs and stuff like that, but uh, I hope to be getting better here uh, soon. So let's do the drum roll, please. All right, so that little vid that little audio clip there is you know part of the editing software that I use. So, all right, now you know that uh, I got a soft spot for the brisket, and I got a soft spot for people from Florida. I got family down there, so the winner of this beautiful Grillhawks giveaway is Mel Williams from Florida. Great subscriber, great participant on the channel, and uh, Mel. Thanks a lot for getting involved and uh, commenting down below. He wants to see a brisket as well. So I think uh, in the coming uh, weeks, because I, I need a couple days at least to do a good brisket, um, you're gonna see that done uh, on that Yoder. So uh, congratulations, Mel. Be sure to email me at greenhornbarbecue at gmail.com and let me know where I could send this to. And uh, again, congratulations. Appreciate you guys being involved with the channel. Congratulations. Uh, we really do. So uh, um, so anyway, we're going to go ahead and get back to uh, grilling up that beautiful lamb. We're going to be uh, taking it over to a friend's house for uh, Easter Sunday. So this Wednesday, Wingnut Wednesday, we'll be giving something else away. I think Uncle Steve, Uncle Steve Shake is going to get involved here. So uh be looking for a giveaway from him and uh, let's get back to the show. All right, here we go guys, like I said. I'm gonna set this lamb here. Own side toward the uh, fire for now. This one I'm gonna get a little bit closer. Now see, my fire is like right over here. So I'm gonna kinda 
angle them appropriately like that, okay? And there we go. And I'm gonna put the vent again right above that meat. guys hope you enjoyed the show hey be sure to like and subscribe to this video comment down below tell us how do you guys do your rack of lamb because it's all good guys everyone has their own unique way of barbecuing and cooking it's a personal thing it's to your taste and that's what we respect so guys be sure to uh, comment and we'll see you on the next one right baby My beautiful, exotic, purple Persian shield. Okay.